need to go into your Azure um, DevOps environment and select a project. If you haven't got a project in place, then go ahead and use the Azure DevOps generator and select Parts Unlimited as your template. Now we use Parts Unlimited for Agile planning and boards, I believe. Let me just check the repo. So Parts Unlimited, yep, so I can use this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the pipelines and click on releases. So we go here, select releases. Now we need to create a new pipeline, so let's go for it. So you note all of the available templates that we do have, but we're going to look for the empty job option, which should be right at the top. And we're going to click this. The reason we are going to select um, an empty job is because we are going to focus on selecting an artifact source. Next, we need to go to the artifact section and select add. And once we go to add an artifact, we can see the source type. We've got build, Azure repos, GitHub, TF, VC. We've got five more articles, so Azure artifacts, GitHub release. We've got GitHub containers, repository, Docker hub, and Jenkins. Now, first, let's have a look at the parameters required for the build. Uh, this option is used to retrieve artifacts from an Azure DevOps um, build pipeline. So using that, you'll require a project name. So you'll be selecting the project and you'll need a build pipeline name. Uh, just one thing to note, um, projects can have multiple build pipelines. Let's look at the next one. So we've got Azure repo. And for this particular source type, you have to select the project. So you can select the project in which you, you are working and then the source repository. So then you need to select this also. For the GitHub, you've got a service um, parameter right here. This is a, essentially a connection to the GitHub repository. So I haven't had any, but you can click new and then do the connection. And then afterwards you've got your source and you're just obviously going to just select the source repository. Now, when you do create a new service, um, you can authorize it by using a OAuth or by getting a GitHub personal access token. Okay, so you could use or authorize using OAuth or authorize using GitHub personal token. Let's look at the next one, TFVC. And this one's very similar to the uh, previous ones. Um, you've got your project and then essentially you've got your source repository here. Azure artifacts. This one will ask you for the feed, so you have to identify the feed. You need to identify the package type and then you have to identify the package. And next, next is the GitHub releases. So once again, you've got your service connection. And then you've got your source repository. The next one is Azure Container Repository. This requires a secure service connection also, just as the previous. You need to specify um, a resource group. You need to specify then the ACR, so the Azure Container Registry. And then you've got to specify the repository within that um, ACR. And finally, you've got the Docker Hub. And as you can see, if once again, you've got the service connection, you've got the namespaces, and then you've got the repository. Okay. Now, this is in particular uh, good if you want to utilize um, containers um, within your actual um, artifact. Finally, you've got the Jenkins. So once again, the Jenkins got a service connection, and then you've got the Jenkins job. So essentially, this is the name of the job that publishes the artifact. Okay. So now let's go back and actually continue. So we're going to select a build. You're going to leave it on Agile Planning and Portfolio Management with Azure, with Azure Boards. Uh, I'm just using a previous uh, project that we created. And we've got the pipeline, so Parts Unlimited E2E. So let's click that. 
And now, as you can see, you've got the default version. So always remember the default version is always the latest unless you specify. Okay, you can specify, so you can specify at the time of the release creation, latest from the build pipeline, default branch with tags, latest from a specific branch with tags, a specific version. And obviously, as you go along, even if you are play with them, you can actually see what the differences are. Now let's go back to the latest. And we're just going to leave this source alias as a default. And we're just going to click add. Okay, so there you go. That artifact has now been set up. And at this moment in time, as you can see, you've got your artifact and then you've got your stages. Now we are essentially um, finished for this demo and all you need to do to complete it is select save at the end. And once you select save, you have to specify the folder and the comments. But for this um, particular demo, we're just gonna leave it blank and select okay. And that is the end of our demo.